Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to trigonometry, multiple and submultiple angles. If sin theta equals to a minus b by a plus b, then what is the value of tan of pi by 4 minus theta by 2? We have been given that sin theta equals to a minus b by a plus b. We have to find out what is the value of tan pi by 4 minus theta by 2. Now to solve this problem, we will start from what we need to find out, try to understand it and can we get that in terms of sin theta so that I can just substitute what is the value of sin theta. So let us go ahead and try that option. So first we will write down what is tan of pi by 4 minus theta by 2 that is 1 minus tan theta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan theta by 2. I hope you do not have any problem with that. Then can we write down tan theta by 2 as sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and simplify that. You have cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2. Now, we, ha we are in theta by 2 actually and what we want is in terms of theta. So, let us do one thing. We will square root and also square inside and see what happens cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 whole square divided by cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 whole square. If you simplify inside the square root you are getting 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta. Now it is pretty simple because we know what is the value of sin theta. It is a minus b by a plus b. We just go and substitute. We will get our answer. So let us go ahead and do that. That is square root of 1 minus a minus b by a plus b divided by of a plus b minus a plus b that is 2b divided by a minus b plus a plus b that is 2a which is equals to square root of b by a. Now we can solve this problem in another way also. We started with RHS and we went to LHS. Instead of that we can just take sin theta and we see a minus b by a plus b in a fraction form. So why can't we apply component or dividend and solve that and come in the reverse direction. Let us go ahead and see how we can do that also. We know sin theta is a minus b by a plus b sin theta equals to a minus b by a plus b. Now what is component or dividend? If a by b equals to c by d that means a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to c plus d divided by c minus d that is component and dividend. So let us apply that here and see what happens. We will have sin theta plus 1 divided by sin theta minus 1 equals to a minus b plus a plus b which is nothing but 2a divided by 2b. Now 2a divided by minus 2b so that will give us 1 plus sin theta divided by 1 minus sin theta equals to a by b. Now we will reciprocal this and we will write it as 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta equals to b by a. Now since the options all of them are having square root let us take square root and see what happens. Square root of 1 minus sin theta by square root of 1 plus sin theta equals to square root of b by a. We got one of the option here but we have to simply prove that that is equals to tan of pi by 4 minus 3 by 2. For that what we will do? We will write down square root of 1 minus sin theta as cos square theta by 2 plus sin square theta by 2 that is 1 minus sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 divided by cos square theta by 2 plus sin square theta by 2 plus 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. This is nothing but 
square root of cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 whole square divided by square root of cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 whole square. Now square root and root will cancel. What is left out to us is cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 but that is equals to 1 minus tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan theta by 2 if you divide by cos theta by 2 both numerator and denominator which is nothing but equals to tan of pi by 4 minus theta by 2. So, we can solve this from right hand side to left hand side or from left hand side to right hand side. So, if sin theta equals to a minus b by a plus b then tan of pi by 4 minus theta by 2 equals to square root of b by a.